What is going on today, guys? It is Saturday. Uh, nothing too crazy going on. I just need to replace some parts on my 2005 SRT4. It's my daily driver, nothing crazy. It's stock, but I need to do the brakes. The idle air control valve, I think is bad. I don't know, I'm losing RPMs when I come to a stop and it's just idling like crap. So I'm gonna target that first before I start doing any of the rewire kits. Um, so the brakes, that, um, and spark plugs. I also need to do my axle seal, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today because I have a late head start on it because I had to go to work. But other than that, I'll do the brakes and the IAC valve. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I'll break the videos down to either make it easier for you guys and or give me content to produce through the week. So with that being said, here goes the work. So first up I'll bang out the brakes and then I'll work on the IAC valve. So the rears are pretty toasted. I did the fronts before when I first got the car. You know, the, most of the stopping power is in the front, so I figured let me just get that out of the way and I'll worry about the rears later. But now they're starting to squeal, so might as well go in here and replace everything. I got pads and rotors, so the pads are almost on their way out. So let's do that. So very informative tip uh, for your rear brakes. You know we have shoes. Those are shoes. However you want to call them. I'm sure there's a technical term. Um, on the back. Let me see. Get my flashlight. In the back, uh, you can't really see anything. In the back, there is a little spindle. Now with that spindle, we'll loosen and tighten the shoe against your rotor. So if you ever want to make your e-brake really, really tight, or if it gets loose after a certain amount of time, you spin that spindle to where it grabs the rotor just enough where it's tight enough. Spinning it up will loosen it. Spinning it down will tighten it. Now, it's it's pretty cramped up in here, so you get a long screwdriver. You put it, you rest it against it, and you just slowly spin it up. You'll, you have to really look in there first, you know, with light and make sure you see the spindle first and then you can lightly, gently spin it up. So loosen up, loosen up the shoes first before going crazy on your rotors and I'll slide right off. So I bought slotted rotors from Stop Tech from Modern Performance, uh, decent price. I didn't need the drilled and slotted, it's my daily, so don't need to go anything crazy with that. And at the same time, bought HPS Hawk. Pads. Like I said, don't need the HPA, HPS Plus, whatever they are. Don't need anything crazy. I have them on my white SRT4 that I race, so. And here is going to be my idle air control valve. 
It's in the bag. We'll get to that later. And remember, always use brake cleaner. And here's Damn It Drew. This is NJ Sideline headquarters. And I guess this is his new street Rossi bike. That's Damn It Drew. Damn it, Drew ran out of fucking gas. Oh. I had to push my bike a block to the gas station. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. It, you have a gas light. Yeah, I know, but... Is that gonna fall? Yeah, I'd put it in actual... I cut the recording, too, when that happened. I don't know why. Of course, Andrew would be the one that runs out of gas with his light on. People like to buy things and not use them. So maybe put a battery on Sorry I didn't get to show you guys, but the piss in your caliper will be up more, and I use a C-clamp, kind of large one, to lower it. I'm sure they, well, they do make tools for it, but I don't know where my buddy's is. So I just use a C-clamp. And of course, I have damage Drew just looking at me. Someone's gotta teach him how to do this shit. No, he's just obviously sitting <laughs> down. I ran out of beer. <laughs> moderating. All right, so you just use a C-clamp, put it at the bottom of here, and put the other end on top of the piston, and squeeze it down. That's it. So after that, you're going to want to grease up your stuff. Sliders, definitely. Uh, Hawk pads, fortunately enough, came with grease for itself. Uh, you can read the instructions and whatnot. But your sliders, back of the uh, pad itself, I'm going to do that now. All right, so after you loop up the sliders in the back of the brakes, the pads, you can throw them on, and then from there, throw them on the rotor. Nothing to worry about. So all you're going to want to do is put the caliper pins back in and uh, you're all set to go. And it's the exact same process on the other side. Don't forget to tighten that spindle in the back for your e-brake. You don't want to lose, you don't want to lose e-brake. Oh, and for your caliper, if you're having a hard time on the top, which I was, just tilt it to the side. Yeah, this way. So if you wanted to lift it up. Yeah, thanks to uh, Damage Drew over here. We're vlogging, we got shit going, we got women coming, we don't have women coming. I want women to come, but we don't, so that's where we're at right now. Yeah, they're probably not coming. <laughs> we got women coming. So I didn't get to show you guys, but the piston in your caliber will be up more. Uh, I said caliber. 